It's on the move again. Now it's mimicking a jellyfish. Jelly. Now it's a, oh, a banded soul. A banded soul? It's a stingray. Banded soul. Stingray. Soul. Band ray. Jellyfish. Sting jelly. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, what is it? Turkey. A turkey. What? What am I? Easy. A chicken. Next. A tiger. Arf, arf, arf. Uh, uh, a mouse? Huh? A hero? Time's up. It's a dog. A dog. Oh, how could I have missed that? Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Farah. What are you up to today? Hi, Leo. I'm compiling a list for my Junior Ranger handbook, and I need your help. Sure thing, Farah. What's the list about? Have you heard of the Mimic Octopus? A Mimic Octopus? Here's a photo of it. It looks like an ordinary octopus. But it can disguise itself to look like another animal. It's really tricky to spot, and I need your help to find it. You can count on us. We'll be right over. Excellent. See you guys soon. Ranger out. The Mimic Octopus. The Mimic Octopus can be found in shallow, murky waters of the Indo-Pacific region. In its original form, it is light brown in color. But the Mimic Octopus is a master of disguise. It can change its appearance and behavior to look like other animals. Wow, I hope we get to see its transformations. Only if we find the octopus first. Bara to Leo, over. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Awesome. Once you find the Mimic Octopus, tell me everything it mimics. I'll write it down in my handbook. You got it, Farah. Now remember, the Mimic Octopus can be anything, so keep your eyes wide open. Don't worry, I won't be fooled. Aha, I bet this is a Mimic Octopus disguised as a... Uh... An anemone? <gasps> that was fast. Anemone. Anemones are marine creatures that look like flowers and are related to corals. That's not a mimic octopus, Leo. It's a real anemone. Oops, <laughs> you're right, Katie. Sorry, Farah. False alarm. That was not a mimic octopus disguised as an anemone. It's not? Okay, no anemone then. Let's look somewhere else. The mimic octopus could be anything. Hmm, I wonder. What are you doing, Katie? Done. I just installed a scanner from my computer. We can identify animals and plants now. Huh? It says here that the coral is human. Is there something wrong with the program? Hello, Junior Ranger. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky? Rocky? What are you doing here, Ranger Rocky? I was practicing my mimicry by pretending to be a coral. What are you rangers doing here? We're trying to find out what creatures the Mimic Octopus mimics. Ah, the master of disguise. While the Mimic Octopus is not venomous, it is able to mimic other creatures that are venomous. By doing that, the octopus tricks others into thinking it's venomous and protects itself from danger. So... We should look out for venomous creatures. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. Ranger Rocky? Where did he go? His mimicry worked. But now we have a mimic octopus to find. What's that, Hero? It's on the move again. Now it's mimicking a jellyfish. Jelly. Now it's a, oh, a bandit soul. A uh, banded soul? It's a stingray. Banded soul. Stingray. Soul. Band ray. Jellyfish. Sting jelly. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, what is it? Turkey. A turkey. What? I think it's a turkey. Turkeys don't live in the ocean, Leo. 
a special underwater turkey? Huh? Now it's walking. <laughs> what about a duck? Ducks don't live in the ocean either. I agree. That's obviously not a duck. Farah, you're here. I had to see this for myself. Besides, my handbook was getting very messy. Oops, sorry. I still think it's a turkey. Nah, it looks like an underwater mushroom to me. Oh, oh, fried chicken. How about some algae? An underwater furball? It's obviously a... Wait, where did the octopus go? It's disguised itself again. Could it be that rock? I'll use my scanner. That's a rock. That's a rock, too. Still rock. Or that seaweed? The ocean floor? It could be anything. Huh? A bird? It sounds exactly like a drill. Whoa! Oh, I think we found the bloodhound. Wow! So it was the bird that made all those sounds. I wonder what type of bird it is. I sent you a photo, Katie. Can you find more information about it? I'm on it, Leo. It seems this bird is a superb lyrebird. A superb lyrebird is an Australian songbird. It has the amazing ability to learn and copy sounds. Adult male lyrebirds have a beautiful tail of fanned feathers, but it takes about seven years for its tail to grow to its full length. Hmm, this lyrebird doesn't have its tail, but male lyrebirds tend to show off He's probably a young male. Hey, I recognize that sound. That's a kookaburra. It's another liar bird. But look at its tail. This liar bird is definitely older than that one. And that sounds like a cockatoo. No, it's another liar bird. Is there any sound these liar birds can't copy? I don't think so, Kyle. Wow! Now they're singing and dancing! Bravo! I don't think the older liar birds like the sound you made. Well, he does sound very different from them. You can only copy what's around you. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! What do you mean, Ranger Rocky? Lyrebirds tend to copy the sounds they hear from their environment. In the wild, lyrebirds copy the noises of animals in the forest, because that's what they've heard all their life. Then, they'll use it in their song. But the younger lyrebird only makes sounds you can hear in the city. That's right, Leo. That means, unlike the other lyrebirds, he must have spent most of his life in the city. He's different. Cheer up, lyrebird. I can't sing either. La 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 la! See? But it doesn't matter. I'm still the coolest guy I know. Singing and dancing might not be a big deal to us, Kyle, but they are a big part of the male lyrebird's life. It's how they find their partner. In fact, male lyrebirds often get together to practice their song and dance. But the other lyrebirds are avoiding him. If he doesn't learn how to sing and dance like the other lyrebirds, he might not be able to find a partner. Then we've got to fix this. Let's teach him how to sing and dance like the other lyrebirds. You have our word. We're going to turn you into a liar bird superstar. I think he's ready for the performance of his life. <laughs> <laughs>
But how are we going to show him off to the other lyre birds? I have just the plan. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, animals of the forest, put your hands, paws, and claws together for the lyre bird. Yes, he's doing it. He's dancing perfectly. All that's left is his song. What's going on? Why did he stop? I can't watch. No way, don't leave, uh, just try again. Uh oh, that sounded like a <gasps> dingo. <gasps> Be careful, Katie. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. Hero, come back, it's dangerous. He did it! Is everybody all right? We sure are, thanks to the lawyer bird. Lyre birds are impressed with him now. They're singing and dancing together. I guess it's not a bad thing to be different. Sometimes all we have to do is be ourselves. Oh, I just love a happy ending, don't you? <laughs> 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 Not sure. Huh? Guys, look! A pink lizard! But lizards aren't pink. Do you think it's sick? What if it has a fever? Let's not jump to conclusions, Leo. <laughs> You're right. Smile! I've sent you its photo, Katie. Can you find out more about it? I'm already on it. Oh! It's not your average lizard. It's a panther chameleon. Panther chameleons can change the color of their skin. They can blend in with their surroundings to camouflage themselves. The chameleons mostly change colors to reflect their mood, communicate with other chameleons, and to warm up or cool down. Oh, so it isn't sick after all. It just changed its color to pink. Yep, panther chameleons prefer to live on their own and can get aggressive towards other chameleons invading their home. Males will become more vibrant in color when competing with other males. Hey, it's another chameleon. Uh-oh. <gasps> they both want the same tree. But there are plenty of trees around. What if we host a friendly competition for them? Whoever wins gets the tree fair and square. No fighting. Round one, the chameleon that changes the most colors in one minute wins. May the best chameleon win. Two, one, time's up. And the winner of round one is the pink, no, red chameleon. Yay! <sighs> it's all right. We'll win the next round. But what's next? Let's see. According to my research, chameleons have eyes that can move in two directions at the same time. Hmm. 
Hmm, fascinating. They also have very sticky tongues. Their tongues can be twice as long as their bodies when stretched out to catch insects. Cool. That gives me a tongue-tastic idea. The first chameleon who catches the spider with its long sticky tongue wins. Three, two, one, go! Come and get it! Over there! Whoa! It's right there! Almost! So close! Yes! Now! Oops! <laughs> to Platypus One. Junior Rangers to the rescue. Platypus One, activate. Oh no! Let's split off. Katie and Hero, you guys go after the red chameleon. Jane, Zumi, and I will follow the blue one. Got it. Jetpack, activate. We got this. for you! Just a little closer. Hello, Junior Rangers! Ranger, Ranger Rocky? Rocky? And what are you guys up to? We're trying to rescue a panther chameleon that fell into the water. Oh dear, they're not known to be strong swimmers. Yes, panther chameleons are great grabbers. They have large toes on their hands and feet, as well as a prehensile tail that helps them cling onto branches. I trust you rangers to rescue the chameleon. See you around. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Onwards. The red chameleon has to be here somewhere. Do you see it, Hero? <laughs> Wait for me, Hero. Strange. We followed the river all the way downstream, but where's the blue chameleon? Leo, do you think it might have drowned? Don't worry. I'm sure it's all right. We'll find it. I know we will. Oh, good job, Hero. There you are. You're safe now. There's some driftwood up ahead. Let's see if it's there. Hey, guys. Look who we found. Welcome back. Did you find the blue communion? Nope, but it has to be here somewhere. Let's just continue to look. Got it, Leo. I found it! Oh, false alarm. It's all right. Keep at it, Rangers. Huh? What's wrong? Are you trying to tell me something? <gasps> it's over here! The red chameleon found its buddy! Oh, yeah, I see it. You know, chameleons turn a darker shade when they're stressed out. Aww. There you go. Home sweet home. They are friends now. No more fighting. Okay, Leo. Now I need you to cut Leo. Oops, sorry, Katie. Someone's calling me. Oh, hi, Kai. What's up? Hi, Leo. There have been sightings of the mysterious Tanuki in the Japanese forest. Tanuki? Tanuki is the Japanese name for raccoon dog. Some say that the tanuki is a shapeshifter. Here, I'll send you a photo of it. That's just a myth, Kai. A story that isn't true. It's scientifically impossible for an animal to transform itself with magic. Which is why it'll be incredible if my invention captures the impossible. I'm going to film the exact moment the tanuki shapeshifts with my camera. Hmm. How about we look for more information about the tanuki first? All right, Leo. I'll send the photo to my computer. Great. There it is. The tanuki. The tanuki, also known as the raccoon dog, isn't actually a raccoon. They may look alike, but tanukis are more closely related to foxes, wolves, and dogs. Tanukis can climb trees, and they can also swim. It didn't say it can shapeshift. But it didn't say it can't shapeshift either. Hmm. 
If anyone is going to prove the impossible, it's me! I have to find the Tanuki and film its shapeshift! Would you guys like to come over to help? Sure, Kai. Myth or not, we'd like to help you and find out more about the Tanuki ourselves. Cool beans! I'll share the location where the Tanuki was last seen. Meet you guys there. Ranger out! Ranger out! Show yourself, Tanuki! Ooh, ah. It's just us, Kai. That's Hero. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Hero. Is this your video camera, Kai? It sure is. Meet the Chimera 1000. A state-of-the-art drone with a superior 10K Ultra HD video camera. There's nowhere a Tanuki can hide from Chimera 1000. This is my new video camera. It doesn't have a fancy name, and it doesn't have as many functions as yours. But it certainly beats my video camera. It's all cool, guys. I could use all the help I can get. Great! Kai can wait up in the trees in case the Tanuki decides to climb up. Let's get into position, Rangers! Any luck, guys? Nope. Not me! Hero found something! Camera's rolling, guys! Let's go! It's going into the log! Quick! Before it escapes! Ranger, Ranger Rocky? Rocky? No way! The Tanuki turned itself into Ranger Rocky! Sorry, Junior Rangers. I'm no Tanuki. I'm just Ranger Rocky. But how do we know you're not a Tanuki that shapeshifted into Ranger Rocky? Would a Tanuki know how to talk? Well, um... Look, Kai, I think the Tanuki got away from that hole instead. Oh, man, how are we going to find it now? Tanukis can be tricky to spot. It's especially easy to mistake a Tanuki for a raccoon, but you'll never go wrong if you look out for their paw prints and tails. While the raccoon leaves paw prints that are similar to humans, the tanukis are more similar to foxes and dogs. Also, raccoons have striped tails, but tanukis don't. Thanks for the tip, Ranger Rocky? Huh? Where did he go? Look, it's over there! So, that's a tanuki, right? Not a raccoon? There are no stripes on its tail! That's definitely a tanuki! Yes! We're coming for you! You can run, but you can't hide from the Chimera 1000! No! Chimera 1000! <laughs> the camera is damaged! I can't video the Tanuki now! How could I be so careless? It's okay, Kai. We still have my camera. But it can't fly. Unless... Wow, Katie, your camera is just as amazing as mine. Thanks, Kai. We've got you now, Tanuki. Shapeshift. Uh, I'm sure it's just getting warmed up. Any time now. It's been hours, Kai. I don't think it's going to shapeshift. These are not shapeshifters. <sighs> I guess you guys are right. So much for proving the impossible. Well, we tried. Come on, we should head home now. It's late already. Farah? Farah! <laughs> Over here, guys. Why is Farah hiding behind that tree? Uh-oh. It's the invisible prankster! Take cover! Ah! <laughs> Hero, over here! <laughs> I got you! <gasps> Hero, is he okay? Stay with us, Hero! <laughs> <laughs> He's all right. 
Just have to dry them up a little. How about you guys? Phew. All good here. Me too. So, who's shooting at us? What is that? Huh? It's a fish? Huh? What are you doing, Leo? It's a fish. A fish is shooting at us. A fish? The fish won't understand you, Leo. Just talk normally. Right. Well then. Huh? Oh, never mind. Over there. <laughs> wow. A spitting fish. Now I've seen everything. Say cheese. I sent you a photo of the fish, Katie. Do you know what it is? The spitting fish is an archer fish. Archer fish catch bugs and insects by spitting water jets at them. Sometimes the archer fish even jumps out of the water to catch them midair. Archer fish have great eyesight and they can hit targets up to two meters high. They're no quitters either. If at first they don't succeed, they'll spit, spit, and spit again. But if an archer fish spits to catch bugs, why is this archer fish spitting at us? A cricket? Over here! Oh, I think the archer fish is just trying to catch this cricket. But it's not very good at it. Well, from what we just learned, the archer fish will get the cricket soon. Let's wait and see. Um, any minute now. Its aim was way off. Oh, no. Is there any way we can help it? <gasps> not my glasses. I need them to see. Oh, I have an idea. The archer fish probably can't aim very well because its eyesight is bad, just like mine. It needs a pair of glasses. Are you sure they'll fit? Positive. There. Aw, it looks like one smart fish. But why is it sinking? Oh, no. I think the glasses are too heavy for the fish, Katie. Hmm. What if we used a lighter frame? Or maybe its eyesight is not the problem. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. <laughs> what do you mean, Ranger Rocky? The archer fish sees just fine. It's just not a very good hunter yet. Yet? Shooting at bugs that live outside the water is pretty tricky business because things look different from underwater. Every archer fish needs to learn how to aim properly. It's not something they can do right away. When a young archer fish starts hunting, it's not very good at it, at first. But after watching other archer fish and practicing, it gets better at aiming and shooting. All it needs is more practice. More practice. Well, the junior rangers are here to help. We'll teach the archer fish how to aim and shoot perfectly. I'm sure you'll do great. Good luck, junior rangers. See you around. Bye, Bye Junior, junior Rocky. Rocky. But how are we going to teach an archer fish to shoot? With a little shooting practice, of course. Uh... Ah! How did it even get to me? Whoa! My handbook! Ah! No! <gasps> You've got to stay cool, remember? Take a deep breath, then go for it. I know you can do it. All right! Way to go! You did it! <laughs> that was amazing! Hey! <laughs> Run like the wind, hero! <laughs> Ready to try a moving target this time? On your mark, get set, go! Just keep going. You're doing great. Come on. Just take a deep breath. You can do it. Yes. Yes. All right. I think it got the hang of it. 
Then let's up the difficulty. Hero, time to take this to the next level. Cool! Look at it go! expert now, aren't you? There's nothing more to teach you, Archer Fish. Bye, Bye Archer, Archer Fish. Fish! Good luck! <laughs> Hit subscribe and click the like icon. <laughs>